In this brief video, I'll demonstrate how to use slideshow timings in PowerPoint 2016. There might be cases where you've developed a PowerPoint presentation and you want the slides, whether it's pictures or the slides, to play automatically without any interaction. So the way you do that is by going through the slideshow here and then recording the timings for each slide. If you're going to utilize something like this, what I'd suggest is, is that you embed sound in that presentation as well. Just check the video on inserting audio and sound in your presentation. So in my case here, I have right here at the bottom of this, I have a, a sound file and the playback for this has been configured so it runs automatically and it'll play across all the slides. Now to record the timings for it or to rehearse the timings, what we can do is we can click here on slideshow and then choose rehearse timings. Now notice it's playing and now I'm going to keep it for so long on, on this slide. Now I, I go to the next slide, next, and notice it's recording the time up here, how many seconds it needs to stay on this slide. Then you press escape or you go all the way through the slideshow all the way to the end. And then it says the total time for this slide was 25 seconds. Do you want to save the new slide timing? So you say yes. And then at any point that you want to play this, let's say in the future, whenever you want to do this, you can click on um, slideshow here. You can choose uh, use timings or you can choose set up a new slideshow. So the new slide show you would say, okay, it's presented full screen, loop continuously until somebody presses escape and advance using timings automatically. So basically whenever you're using timings, you also need to use the setup slide show here and then click OK. Click on from beginning. That's what the presenter will do. And now all of this stuff is going to play automatically. Now notice it doesn't have any of the audio that you might have chosen to do. If you wanted audio, you'd have to use the record option. So that's how timing the slides and rehearsing the timings works in PowerPoint 2016. It's actually very similar to previous versions as well.